This exercise will show you how to set up a photo with Photoshop for output to a high resolution offset printer. We begin this by clicking on the file menu, choosing open, and when the open dialog box appears, we're in a folder called sizing photos. There's a couple of pictures in here. We're going to select the one of the girls and we're going to click open. So now our image is open in Photoshop. This is the image that we're going to use to reduce down to 4.5 inches to go into a brochure. We want to first find out how big this image is. So we go to the image, image size, and open the image size dialog box. Under document size, we see that the width is 23 inches. The resolution is 300 pixels per inch. The resolution is a good resolution for us, but the size of the image is way too big. So we're going to change this size. But before we do it, I'm going to hit cancel. And we're going to go back to the image. And I'm going to go up to the file menu. And I'm going to choose save as. And the save as dialog box opens up. And we're still now inside of the sizing photos. The reason we're doing this is we do not want to damage this original piece of art. We want to create an, a secondary piece of art that we can use to create this new piece of art and we're going to leave the original intact in case we need it for something else. So while we have this open, the file name is going to be changed. And I'm going to change it to Makeup Girls. And I'm going to hit Save. And I'm going to get this JPEG Options dialog box. Now yours may look something like this, where you have the quality set to something like eight and high. This is for optimizing and this we're not really looking to do. So I'm going to click on this slider and drag it over to 12 maximum because we don't want it optimized and I'm going to hit OK. Up here you're going to see the name change and there we have Makeup Girls. This is the file that we're going to work on. The other file has been released back into the folder and is kept there for safekeeping. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size of this photo from 23 inches down to 4.5 inches. So I'm going to go up to the image menu and I'm going to click on image size and in the image size dialog box I'm going to come to the document size and where it says 23 inches notice that this is linked and it says constrain proportions. If I click on constrain proportions you'll see that link go away and this is no longer constrained so if I were to change the width on this the height would not change. That's not what I want. I want this to constrain so I want to make sure that this is checked and you're seeing this graphic here. I'm going to come into the width I'm going to double click and I'm going to type 4 0.5 and notice that when I do this the height changes as well. The resolution does not change. That's fine. We want the resolution to be 300 pixels per inch. So we want the size to be 4.5, the resolution 300 pixels per inch. Down here we have some algorithms. The one that we have selected says by cubic, best for smooth gradients. We don't have too many smooth gradients in here, so I'm going to choose another one. I'm going to click on the drop down and the one at the very bottom says Bicubic Sharper, best for reduction. That's what I'm going to choose. I'm going to now hit OK, and you'll see that my photo goes very small. So let's take a look at this and see what we have. We're going to go up to the View menu, and I'm going to click Actual Pixels. There's the image, and you can see it in its actual pixels. It's still pretty big, but if we go to the View menu and choose Print Size, now you're going to see that this looks more like a four and a half inch image. That's what we want. And if you look up here, the only thing that we have left to do is change this from RGB into CMYK, which is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to go up to the image menu and under mode, I'm going to come over and I'm going to choose RGB color, go to the next one below it, which says CMYK color, and I'm going to click. I get this dialog box that asks me do I want to do this and of course I do so I click OK. Notice now that this file is saying CMYK. Basically this is complete so all we have to do is save this. I'm going to go to the file menu I'm going to click save and the image is done. So I click the image close it I minimize my program I'm in the sizing photos folder 
and we take a look over and here is our original image if you take a look at it the dimensions of the original 6900 pixels wide and the size is 9.76 megabytes a pretty big file but if we take a look over here at makeup girls the dimension width now is 1350 and the size is 1.9 megabyte much smaller so we've completed the assignment and I hope you enjoyed this Thank you very much.